In this video, you're gonna get better at freestyle spinning with your bow staff. This is number two in this series. Grab your bow staff and follow me. Everything in this workout is done one hand at a time. Start with your hand in the middle of the staff. Here I'm using my right hand and you're going to spin around the back of your hand in one direction and then the other direction. Now this is called a wrist roll because it really is going over the back of your wrist. And you're gonna see this first way is gonna go over the thumb side and then bringing it back the other way comes from the pinky side. Second exercise with the same hand is gonna be the finger roll. I'm gonna go through the first three fingers and when I get to this pinky finger and the ring finger, the first three are gonna go straight and it's gonna roll over the back. I'm gonna allow that roll to continue and then grab it with my thumb. The other hand up and out of the way. These are a little bit more complex, more challenging moves. Don't expect to get this right away, but you will get it when you don't quit. Just don't quit. Now, do the same thing with the finger roll, but go through all the fingers. I'm gonna keep the thumb out of this one. So I'm really going down to the last two fingers, and I'm coming back up to the first two. It's a continuous spin, or finger roll. Don't be afraid to let it fall and hit the ground. Just pick it up and keep going. Next exercise is gonna be a figure eight motion in front of the body, and this is a forward figure eight. There are two ways to do this one. I'm going forward first, leading with my thumb. My thumb is pushing back, pushing down, coming behind me, coming in front of me. Forward figure eight or a butterfly spin, and then stop it and pull it back the other way. Do all this on just one hand first, so you really work those muscles, work those joints, you're gonna get stronger faster that way. It's not gonna be easy though. If it is easy, move faster. Now this reverse, I'm pulling up pinky side, pinky side to the front, pinky side up to the back. Stop yourself, go forward, stop and then reverse. Do that just a few times so that you can be sure that you're going forward and reverse. It's easy for the mind to get tricked on this one. We started with that wrist roll. I'm gonna put that together with this figure eight and over here, I'm gonna wrist roll. On this side, you're gonna see it's going over the back of the hand from the thumb side. And on this side, it'll go over the back of the hand on the pinky side. In the reverse, pulling it, pinky side again. And now over here, thumb side, wrist roll. I almost hit myself in the head that time. Hit yourself in the head, you're not gonna die. Earn your skill. Pay your lumps. Pay your dues. Whack yourself, it's part of the fun. Yes, it hurts, but you're not gonna die. And if you go too fast and you drop it, pick it up. And then go fast again. And try not to drop it the next time. Go to that forward spin again and do a wrist roll on the opposite side of the body, but then the finger roll over here. And it's the first one we did where the three fingers came together and I assist with the thumb. So forward spin, forward figure eight, wrist roll, finger roll, wrist roll, do a finger roll. Doing the same thing in reverse means the wrist roll happens on the opposite side and the finger roll happens over here. There it goes again. All I have to do is pick it up. I don't want you to get perfect. I've never found perfection, but I find progress when I keep going. That's what I want for you. 
Always move forward, keep going. And you might have setbacks too, where you don't make progress, but you get worse. But don't quit, because if you keep going and keep going, breathe, relax, think about it, then you will make progress. Now there's one more before I switch hands. I'm gonna roll down, 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 until it can't turn any longer. Down in front of my body here, because I have my belt on, it's in front of my belt. I'm gonna let it go. It'll continue to turn, and I bring my same hand just back up in the middle of my body. So I go down to throw and a catch. You're gonna have to get a feel for it. Go down and come up. All these moves are gonna improve your ability to freestyle because they're gonna give you better control over the staff, but it's also gonna improve your speed, strength, flexibility, your proprioception. That means your understanding of where things are in space and time. Right, now for the other hand. I'll just review, this is my left hand, I'm left-handed. This is my stronger side. So I started with my weaker side. That's a tip. Always start with your weaker side. Only ever do what you're good at, you'll never make much progress. Do both sides. Start with your weakest side first. So for review, I start wrist roll, wrist roll. Now I want you to go into a finger roll, going over the back of the first three fingers. Assisting with the thumb at the end. Now I want you to see this, I'm gonna back up. I'm no longer in the middle. To find the middle, to get your hand back in the middle, allow it to slide as you're still spinning. Someone asked me that and I haven't been able to answer it yet, so I wanted to throw that in this one right here. That's for you. Now, I have that down, I go into my forward figure eight, I reverse it, reverse it a couple times to make sure you're doing both and you're not tricking yourself, and then go into a wrist roll, wrist roll, doing that forward spin, and then reverse it, wrist roll, to a wrist roll, doing your reverse spin, and then back to forward, you're gonna do a wrist roll into a finger roll, Again, using just those three fingers, turning over to the back. Keep this other hand up and out of the way. Don't let it dangle. Go into that reverse figure eight with the wrist roll and the finger roll on the opposite sides. Finish with the throw and catch, going down, pop it up over and over again. Now do those exercises, let me know in the comment section below what else you wanna work on, if this was helpful for you or not, and what kind of staff you're using. Today I used my really light staff because I knew I was gonna work on my fingers. I do the same workout with my heavy staffs though. It doesn't really matter. Start with what you have. There's no way to do it wrong. I'll see you in the next video.